Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for uh, mid-December 2023. Uh, let's see what's going on for you. Uh, you have this lizard and this peacock. So uh, I actually am getting something about creativity here where it's like your creative ideas are kind of on fire right now. So I would definitely tap into your creativity. Uh, I feel that you could be finding a lot of success with like creative projects or just even creative ideas. You know, you have this card here. It says, use your skills to aid others. So, you know, this uh, creative, these creative ideas, they could also have to do with your skills. And so I get that. The lizard is also uh, uh, like attached to the dream realm, you know, the dream world. And I feel for a lot of you um, that you could be having like very vivid dreams at this time. And look, you have this card here that says hold your vision on it. So I feel for a lot of you that you need to kind of like pay attention to your dreams or, um, you know, it's like your dreams are trying to tell you something. And look, I mean, you have the star here, which could be your dreams. Page of cups can represent a dream. He's looking into this cup with this fish on it. And, um, you know, that fish kind of re represents something that he needs to grab onto. It's, it's something that he needs to make sure doesn't escape. So I feel for a lot of you that this is encouraging you to uh, take advantage of some sort of dream. I also feel clearly there could be love coming in for you. So if you want love, I feel that there could be a new person. Could be an air sign or an earth sign here. It could be any sign, of course. Just a This is just a general reading, people. So, you know, it could be any sign. Uh, Aquarius stands out to me. So, but it could be any sign. Like I said, you have the Ace of Pentacles, which is like a big new opportunity. I feel like there is an opportunity for you to be creative or to be more creative or to present something like in a different way. And so... You know, again, those, I, I believe personally that in the future, those types of things where it's like you take something and you add a creative twist to it, like, I know I'm speaking very generally, but it could be anything. <laughs> like, it could be a business. Maybe you want to start a YouTube channel. Maybe you want to go date a person. It's like, but like everything you do, if, if you can apply a creative twist to it, will probably be very successful and be a big opportunity. Uh, I also feel that a lot of you are about to increase your finances. So uh, definitely love this. You have the Page of Cups. If you are looking at a person for love, I feel like you're trying to decide whether this person is real or fake. <laughs> you know, uh, that doesn't sound good, but uh, I feel like this is good, you know? Um, I feel like this happens to this person a lot that you're attracting. Again, definitely could be an earth sign or air sign is what I'm getting here. But, you know, again, you I, I feel like you know who this person is. It's probably part of your friend group because we go to the Three of Cups. So if you're looking for uh, love, it could be someone that you know through friends or something along those lines. But it's like, I feel like this is the type of person where it's like people don't really see who they truly are at first. And so I feel like people assume they're like one way and really they're like completely different. And I feel that this person gets hurt a lot in relationships because people leave them. Maybe people feel like they're fake or they're lying or whatever. But really, I feel like it's the complete opposite. <laughs> I feel like this person really tells the truth and, um, you know, just people just aren't used to it. So I don't know, it's kind of a weird message, but it's almost like you're attracting a person like that. So it's almost like, you know, I feel like this uni uh, the universe puts this person in people's lives as a test. The, it, this could also be you, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> so I might be talking about you here. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I kind of feel it is the person that's coming into your life. It's like, you know, the universe puts this person in people's lives and people always, you know, underestimate this person or think that they're lying or whatever, and then find out that whatever they said about their lives was true. And you could marry this person. Here you go, four of wands. So again, if you're meeting a person like this, I feel that, you know, it could be a very successful connection that you're forming here. Uh, four of wands is also a card of freedom. And so anything you can do to bring more freedom into your life, I would do it. Uh, you know, all this energy we have in Taurus, I, I think that, you know, according to Chris's crappy astrology here, um, what I would say is that all that Taurian energy is encouraging freedom. Like, uh, you know, we need to bring more freedom into our lives. So we need to do things like become more efficient at work, um, you know, do more things that we love to do, that we enjoy doing, because that creates a more positive energy in life. Um, you know, anything... It's funny because you have the simplicity card at the end. And I feel like simplification, simplifying things, making things more simple, not overcomplicated is a great way to bring more freedom into your life. And again, there's really no reason to do it, right? Uh, people always ask me like, why is this so important? Because I talk about this a lot. And you I'm, you have the King of Pentacles here, which is Taurus. And really, the an I, I don't have a good answer 
I don't know. I just feel it intuitively, right? I, I don't really feel there is a good answer, but other than, I think when we work with the energy, we get the reward. So I think it's not so much about like you doing this for a reason other than it's going to bring rewards because you're working with the energy, right? So I hope that makes sense, but there you go. Definitely could be a person you're gonna marry coming in here. With the Ace of Pentacles, yes, are you kidding? You have this affair card. Uh, this is a very good card. It's not like a cheating affair. This is just like a, a love affair, love entering into your life. So definitely a solid connection. With the Page of Cups, you have this negotiation card here. I feel like you don't you don't feel like you're negotiating with this person. It's like you don't feel that you're like settling for a person. You are getting what you want. So love it. I also do feel that some of you literally could be negotiating something and uh, I feel like you're gonna win the negotiation. <laughs> so if you're like trying to buy a house or a car or if you're trying to negotiate something, it this I feel you literally are go going to win. With the uh, four of wands, you have this patience card. Yeah, I feel like saying it's worth the wait. Like this was worth the wait. If you've been waiting for a person, um, if you've been hoping to find a good person, I feel this has definitely been worth the wait for you. And look, Taurus and Leo. <laughs> you have Taurus in this reading and you have two Leo cards here as well. So I feel for some of you, it could be a Taurus or a Leo. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this wizard card. It says, use your skills to aid others. Definitely a good time for you to do this here, Sagittarius. Anything you can do that, like any hidden talents, gifts, skills, and abilities you have uh, could bring in money, uh, could just help people in your life and bring good energy into your life. Pretty much any of that. You have the caduceus as well. It says, you will receive news from afar. The Caduceus is is the staff of Hermes and Hermes is Mercury. We have Mercury retrograde right now. So, <laughs> you know, I would be careful of any communication coming in. Although I do feel there is good news coming in for you. You go like this from the King of Pentacles over to the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is showing up in the good stuff and the Eight of Wands is good news. So I definitely feel that there could be good news coming in for you, um, you know, from a person. It could be from a Taurus person. If you have an important Taurus in your life, like a parent, a family member, a friend, something like that, I feel like there could be good news coming from that person. I'm also getting that some of you, I'm, I'm getting a weird message as well that somebody out there, might. this might only be for one of you, but it's like, if you're thinking about moving in with a person, like an aunt or something like that, I don't know, it popped into my head as an aunt, could be a Taurus. Um, you know, I feel like this will make your life a million times easier, or maybe it's a cousin or something. I don't know. It's popping into my head that somebody, or maybe a couple of you out there could be like, uh, leaving your apartment and you could be like moving in with a family member. And I feel that it, like, it might not be like the perfect situation, but if, if you are thinking of doing that, I'm getting that it's, it's going to make your life a thousand times easier. So I would do it. I think that it'll give you a little bit of a break. It will help you save money. And I just think it would be good for you. So I would definitely do it if you're doing that. Uh, you have the hangman here. Uh, everybody's had the hangman. I believe we're in a time of seeing things from a new perspective. When you think about it, we have some pretty strong energy in Pisces, Neptune and Pisces and Saturn and Pisces. And what I would say is Neptune and Pisces is the big crazy ass dream that we all have to do whatever it is you want to do in life. And then that Saturn and Pisces is like, okay, put in the work and you will accomplish your crazy ass dream, right? <laughs> so I think that we're all gaining new perspectives on how we can manifest our dream life or create it or build it, whatever you want to call it. And But it's like, we have to take action. We have to get off the pole, right? He's, he's hanging from the tree of knowledge and wisdom. He has gained the answers he's looking for, but he also has to like get off the tree and start putting things into practice. So there you go. Uh, you have the Ten of Wands, and Ten of Wands is about carrying a heavy burden. I, it is weird. Everybody's had the Ten of Wands, I think, and, you know, I think that going this way, though, it's like you're kind of releasing responsibilities, but th things that no longer belong to you. You know, so if you have been carrying a lot of burdens from other people, or if you've been dealing with a lot of, you know, BS from other people, it's kind of like you're just releasing it, or you are just letting it go and moving on from, you know, moving on from the challenges or whatever. Uh, with the um, with the King of Pentacles, you have this extremism card. I would be careful of extremism right now. Uh, we're getting to the end of Neptune and Pisces. You know, in it, it's technically not at the end yet. Again, it officially enters uh, Aries in 2026, right at the beginning of 2026. But Neptune and Aries is extremism in, on a certain level. So I keep telling people that I think it's a great time right now before we get there to practice just being neutral, to just practice looking at things from both perspectives, just so you don't freak out about something that you don't need to freak out about, right? Um, stuff like that. <laughs> so, you know, there you go. 
Uh, with the hangman, you have this flirtation card. Definitely new love coming in for you. Someone wants to flirt with you. And again, it, if it goes right in this direction, you know? So definitely could be a person that you know through friends or through, um, you know, I think, I think you know this person is what I would say. With the Ten of Wands, you have Saturn and Pisces. This card is Saturn and Pisces. This is the Lost card. So, uh, you know, I think that we're all being asked to release things that no longer serve us. I think we're all being asked to release things that we've been holding on to for too long. So definitely a good time to let go of stuff here. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this North Node card. It says step out of your comfort zone. Every single person gets something about stepping out of their comfort zone for years with me. Uh, you have this fixed moon card. It says, hold your vision. Didn't I say something about your vision at the beginning of the reading? I'm pretty sure I did. So definitely time for you to maintain your vision and to keep looking at, you know, kind of have that North Star. I'm cheating a little bit because um, <coughs> the, the reason I said it is because of that lizard card, because I know that that lizard card is about your vision, but you also have the star. And the star is about having a North Star, having that thing that you can work towards, like a big goal, wish, or dream in your life. And I feel like as long as you have a North Star, as long as you have something to hold as the object of your attention, something that you want to accomplish or create in your life, as long as you have that, uh, you will be very successful. So I feel like a lot of you need like need to have like a goal, wish, or dream or something to, um, to aim at in your life, right? And that's what I would do here is I would keep um, aiming at something big. Uh, you have the lovers here, and the lovers definitely could represent love entering your life. Could also be a Gemini as well. Air definitely stands out to me here, so you know it could be any sign. But uh, I do feel there's like a perfect match that's divinely guided into your life. I would say that right away, this person is probably very mature, successful. You know, the King of Swords is coming up in the area of the good stuff, so you know definitely could have air in their chart. But I would say they're very mature. They carry themselves in a mature way. You know, a lot of readers read it as someone who's older than you. The King of Swords. It, could be true, but I don't really get that here. I, I think it just, you know, it could be someone who's younger than you. I think they just come off very mature. Uh, you have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a celebration. And again, if you are looking for love, I would spend as much time as you can with friends because it looks like you're meeting this person through friends or, you know, through socializing or whatever the case may be. Uh, with the, let's see, with the star card, you have the indecision card. Yes, I feel like the universe is trying to guide you towards something. You know, this is like a higher self angel here. And this person is not making a decision. And I feel like the universe is trying to help you make a decision. Um, and so I would like move towards things that are a challenge, right? Um, we're not talking about things that are a challenge in a bad way. We're talking about with the star it's about working on that big dream, that big vision that we've been talking about this whole entire time uh, that could lead to a lot of success for you. With the lovers, you have this escape card here. Um, I don't really think this is saying you're like escaping from love or anything like that, but I do feel some of you are wondering whether you want love or not in your life. And obviously I can't make that decision for you. You have to make that decision, but you know, I do feel like some of you could be trying to choose like love or no love. Um, and like I said, I don't know. I, I can't make that choice or that decision uh, for you. You're going to have to make it for yourself. One thing that's super interesting is that there are these two tigers right here, like at the front of the card. And you also have this flexibility card that has a tiger right here. And I'll show you that in a minute. But it's almost like saying for if you are wanting to get into a relationship, like you're going to have to be flexible or maybe this is a person that you're going to have to be flexible to be with them. But I feel like it's worth it. With the Three of Cups, you have this Exaltation card. Something is like being divinely guided into your life, for sure. You know, you have the Lovers with the Higher Self Angel. You have this Indecision card as well. This Exaltation card kind of does represent, um, you know, kind of says like the universe is shining its beams of abundance on you, but it's a card that says that something is destined to be in your life. And I feel for a lot of you, that there is like a relationship or a connection that is meant to be in your life. And it's in, it's definitely coming. So, you know, I would be open to it if you want love, of course. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this flexibility card and this simplicity card. Every single person has had a card about simplicity, keeping it simple, breaking things down to their simplest parts. You know, again, I think what's going on here, the reason this stuff comes up so much is because, you know, we, we, there are like a lot of problems in the world, obviously. And so when there's like a lot of problems, I think we, our brain just thinks like, oh, 
you know, I have to come up with some sort of hard solution, right? You think big problem, big solution. <laughs> but really, I think the universe is like saying, no, think of, of the easy things. Think of the simple solution to anything you're dealing with. And that is the answer. But I also feel anything that we're working on, we just need to keep it simple. Uh, again, you have this flexibility card, which has this tiger on it right here. So I definitely feel you do need to uh, stay flexible and kind of be flexible in how you accomplish things in your life. Uh, you have the Eight of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and the King of Swords here. The Eight of Wands is a card of quick success. And so I feel for a lot of you that you could be uh, creating success in your life. Um, you know, this is also a card of socializing. And there's been a lot of stuff in this reading about you socializing, spending time with friends. And again, I do look at this as a card of you know communication, spending time with people. So definitely feel that would be a good idea. It's also a card of focus. The Eight of Wands is about maintaining your focus on one thing and accomplishing it. Um, the Eight of Wands says when you have something to aim at, then you will be successful. So make sure, you know, I think it would be a good time for like having a goal or not even a goal, just having a North Star, something that you work towards. You have the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is work hard, play hard. I would make sure that you're balancing the energies out. I feel you are definitely one of the signs that's gonna be working hard next year because you're seeing results. So it's like you're working hard for a good reason, right? You're working hard because you are getting results for your efforts. But I also feel that this is saying you need to make sure to take care of yourself. You need to make sure um, you know, while you're working hard and yes, you're gonna be finding success, I feel you need to make sure that you're also um, you know, taking care of yourself and all that other good stuff. Uh, you have the King of Swords. I definitely feel you could be attracting a very mature person, very different than what you're used to. So if you want love, I feel you could be attracting something that is like very mature, very successful. I, I, like I see a lot of happiness here. I do feel like this person's like a little bit stern. Maybe they're like serious or something. <laughs> um, but I don't know. It looks good to me. I feel like you will be very happy with this person. Um, you know, so there you go. Uh, let's see where this is going for you, Sagittarius. Uh, let's see here. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, you have this independence card. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you are very independent anyway. I, and again, if you're attracting this person here, I feel like this person is also very independent. So, you know, this person kind of strikes me as like an introverted extrovert, right? Like this is the type of person where it's like maybe they, they like to party or, and spend time with people, but then they like need their alone time as well. So I feel like you could be attracting someone who's perfectly happy that you're independent and they're independent and you both do your own thing and, you know, come together. So it looks like a good person. Person. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles, you have this Endurance card. This card basically just says you haven't given up on something. And I feel with the Two of Pentacles, some, well, I'll say this. Sometimes I feel with the Two of Pentacles that it can represent a settlement and or receiving some sort of settlement. And so it's almost like you could be receiving a settlement from the universe because you haven't given up on working towards something. And uh, you know, I feel like you've held your vision. You have that card that says hold your vision. The whole entire reading is about holding your vision and accomplishing whatever your vision is. With the King of Swords, you have this Revenge card. Uh, I don't think this is Revenge. Again, it's coming up in the area of the good stuff, so it's gonna be good no matter what. It's almost like this is your reward for going through something with another person. So if you've if you've come off of like a challenging relationship, it's almost like you're getting something that is a gift. You know, you're getting meeting a person that's really good, or you know, whatever the case may be. So, you know, that look that looks good to me. Like, are you kidding? You you literally have this card that uh, like I have to show you now. It it says you will receive a gift. <laughs> As I was saying that about getting a gift, you get this gift card. So there you go. Definitely a person who is a gift. You have this owl card. It says good advice from a wise person. The thing about the King of Swords is that it can represent a mentor. It could be any gender. It doesn't matter you know, what gender this person is, but there could be like a mentor or a person you look up to or a person who just has like good advice for you. So if you're trying to improve something or you know, trying to grow your business or whatever, it, this could be like a person who is very wise, who can offer you good advice. Uh, you have two, these two cards wanted to come out together. You have this butterfly card. It says a change for the better, which is great. You have this bird flying. It says news is on the way. So you could be getting news that things are changing and going in your favor. You know, the eight of wands can represent news. And I'm pretty sure, didn't you have some other card in here that was like news or something like that? Um, I, I don't know, but it, it doesn't matter. I feel like there's good news coming in for you here. So it looks very good. You have this wishbone card that says a wish will be granted. So definitely I would make a wish at this time. It looks to me like you're having a wish granted. You have this rainbow card that says the most difficult part of a situation is over. So yeah, whatever challenges you've been through, it's like you're getting to the end of those challenges. I almost feel like um, saying like now that I've finished your reading here, Sagittarius, 
I almost feel like saying the universe has had us all in like boot camp, right? It's a, it's almost like the universe has put us collectively through boot camp and now we're graduating. <laughs> you know, that's like the feeling I get. And because everybody's had something about, you know, everybody has had something about having gone through something, you know, ha- having gone through a difficult period of time and getting rewards at the end of the year here. You have this June card. I always, I always clarify these monthly cards and you have this broken bridge. It says unsuccessful outcome to a problem. I do feel like some of you like had like dealt with something in June, but it's kind of weird. Um, you know, it's almost like I see you, like if I put myself in your shoes in June, in the month of June that we already went past, it's like June or July, maybe. Um, it's like you, I feel like you revisited something is what's popping into my head, like with a group of people or something like maybe you, um, you kind of uh, reconnected with some people that left your life. It's not like popping into my head as love, like it could be family or something. And it's like, for whatever reason, like you tried to fix this situation, but it's like, maybe it couldn't be fixed. I don't know. I like, I kind of see something like that going on here, but I do feel like you're kind of like healing on your own. You're realizing that you have to take care of yourself. But this is a really good reading, Sag. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.